Hello, beautiful souls. You were at this place where you thought things were naturally progressing, and then something happened. This could have been something cyclical, this could have been something that happened out of the blue here. But I definitely feel like you've assumed this position of stepping back and allowing this masculine to assess their own faults, their own ways that they were showing up in this connection here. And they have received some type of major warning sign. It's almost as if they received a wake-up call about how they were presenting in this connection. This has to mean something, right? Yeah, they're definitely going through this moment in time where they are connecting all of the dots, right? Okay, wow, very powerful energy. Let's get the next message here. Wow, the next message we have is, and I definitely feel as if this is kind of a question to you, Divine Feminine. I feel like they want to ask you if you feel it too. It's almost as if they've gotten a taste of the feminine world. You know, the Divine Feminine operates in intuition and really tapping into your emotional compass and listening to the universe and tapping into the signs here. It's like there's a merge that's happened at this time where they're really connecting the dots here and they're realizing that this means something. Okay, they're wondering how you're feeling as well. It's almost as if they're realizing that this is kind of your natural process. This is your natural stance, you know what I mean. You really being in tune with the universe, you listening to your internal nudges, you allowing the universe to kind of order your steps and guide you and really moving from a real raw authentic place, allowing your heart space to guide you to where it is that you are supposed to be. They are naturally assuming this position. Okay. So this is resonating with you. This is definitely a masculine who is at a distance from you and who has gone through some type of spiritual awakening as it pertains to your connection. Okay, the universe had to step in here and give this person a warning sign about how they were navigating because they were really, really either about to screw this up. Okay, they were about to make a decision that could have very well affected the trajectory of your connection. And I'm getting that this connection is very powerful. It's very sacred. Okay. And in order for this masculine to navigate it, in the way that they are supposed to, they first have to identify their own power. They first have to realize that they are co-creating as well. Okay. That they have the power to create the future. Okay. The first message we have is, you broke. Me? Wow. Okay. So I'm picking up a very, very powerful energy, but also a very powerful connection. A connection that was extremely intense from the very, very beginning, literally since the day that you crossed paths with your person. Divine Feminine. This masculine did not see you coming. Okay. And they didn't see you coming because they completely had their guard down when they came in contact with you. They were not thinking about falling in love. They thought that this connection may have been like any other connection. Okay. From Divine Muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe. My beloved love. They were really, really confused about their emotions. They felt as if something about you was extremely different here. Okay, I definitely feel like you're at this place, where although things may be a little bit shaky as these energetic shifts happen, you feel this sense of calm. It's almost as if you know your power, you know your worth at this stage of your life. You know what it is that you deserve here. And I definitely feel like your divine masculine is stepping into this reciprocal energy, whereas you're becoming more imbalanced within this connection. They're definitely seeing you very, very clearly right now. Okay. Extremely clearly, but I definitely feel this energy of fear as it pertains to them, but also just this really, really deep yearning for you, where they want to connect with you. They want to kind of explore these emotions, but it's something happening where the universe has stepped in, and they kind of have to sift through these emotions by themselves here, okay? They don't know if you will be receptive to this, but they definitely feel like they at least owe you the truth. Okay, let's get the last message here. Wow. Yeah, we have. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, your person is realizing that they've been extremely inauthentic with you here, and they, they really didn't have to. 
Um, it's really hurting them more to assume this position of operating in their ego, not really acting as if this connection is as important to you as it is, as important to them as it is. Okay, but they're letting you know they can't do this anymore. They can't do this anymore. Okay, they're not willing to allow this isolated situation to change the trajectory of your connection here. So I definitely feel as if there will be some truth coming through, so that you can speak to your person, so that you can heal this, how this affects your connection going forward, if you will be receptive to this. Okay, you'll only know when you have this conversation. Wow, very powerful energy here. Let's get the next message. The next message we have is, afraid of getting lost in you. So, I feel like if you are wondering why your person was showing up in a certain way within your connection, this is definitely why here. They were actually afraid of getting lost in you, Divine Feminine. Okay. And I feel like although your person may have tried to hide this, I feel like you intuitively picked up on your person's, you know, internal process during your connection here. Um, they really don't have the ability to hide from you. I feel like there's an intense energetic bond between you and your person where you pick up on certain emotional cues. You know your person extremely well here, and I feel like that's the element to you that your person is kind of afraid of. There could definitely be something going on with their heart chakra, where your person really never allowed themselves to get lost in love. And for you, you were the first person that actually scared them because they knew that they were gonna get lost in you. Okay. And it's like they tried to prevent this from happening. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.